Hello everybody, nice to meet you. I was uh, looking at my YouTube channel the other day and I noticed I have no videos on my face. It's all just my hands, right? That's all you see are my hands. So here is the rest of me. Hello, and um, this is a portion of my studio. And these are a couple of recent paintings that I've done. Um, and I wanna talk about this one in particular. Now this is done on an 18 by 24 panel and it's 100% oil pastel. And I use this fixative on it. This is a uh, low odor clear finish by Krylon. All right, and I really liked it. Um, but it did change the values of this painting. It made the darks a little darker and it made the color pop and be crisp a little bit more. So my lights are a little bit lighter. They seem lighter. It seems like the color is really popping. Um, and I noticed after I used this fixative. So that got me thinking, I wonder what this would do on an oil pastel painting that's done on paper, like this one. This has no fixative on it. Or what would it do on an oil pastel painting like this where it's done on this black paper? So we're gonna do some experimentation. We're gonna see what this does to my oil pastel paintings. Um, and we'll see what happens. All right, hello again. Okay, so. Again, this is the fixative that I used for this piece right here. All right, and I'm gonna show you um, an angle. So you can see the gloss on it right there. If I just kind of show it at an angle, you can definitely see the heavy gloss, All right? But man, the colors really pop. I mean, those are juicy darks. Okay, so I used this um, low odor clear finish on this and it worked really well. Like I was able to enhance the darks and lights with it. And I really like that effect. And then I took it a step further. So I did three coats of this on this piece, waited for it to dry. It took like 15 minutes or so. And then I laid it flat and I poured this stuff over it. This Liquitex gloss varnish. All right. And so the combination of these two guys right here started destroying the painting. And I'll show you exactly where that's happening. Um, so if I angle it again, and up here, you can see this kind of really smooth, clear spot. I don't know if you can really see that. So that's there. And if you look over here, you can see the oil pastel started to kind of disintegrate. And um, kind of, it started actually coming off the board um, when I was pouring this on and starting to spread it with the brush. And so when I saw that happening, I immediately stopped and just like waited for the whole thing to dry and then it just dried up like that. So I'm gonna get a close up of that so you can see kind of what happened there. Okay, you can kind of see the surface is a little bit messed up. Um, almost looks like it was kind of melting or disintegrating off, but it eventually just dried like this. So I combined this fixative with that varnish and that's what happened to it. It's not a good combination and I'm never gonna do that again. Um, I think if I would just gone with this fixative alone, I think I would have been just fine. All right, so don't do that. Don't combine these two guys together, all right? There's some sort of chemical reaction happening and maybe I didn't have enough coverage of the fixative before I applied the varnish. That's possible. Um, but I just learned I'm never gonna do that again. Okay. All right. So besides that, what we're going to do is we're going to do some experimentation. I want to see what this fixative will do on another panel. This one here. All right. Now this one I did, um, I don't know, a while ago, maybe a month or two ago. Um, it's still wet. It's got a lot of Snellier, uh, you know, the top layer is Snellier or Neo Pastel, mostly Snellier. So it's very wet and still very movable. There's no varnish or fixative on it. And I'm going to spray this on it. And I want to see what happens to the darks. Particularly, are they going to get really dark? All right. Is the, is our, are the values going to be really contrasted with each other? That's what I'm looking for. All right. And then we're going to take that same fixative. And I'm going to try it on this one. Okay, now this is a uh, 9x12, it's 100% oil pastel, and it's done on this Canson black paper. You've probably seen this. Um, it's a textured paper, where, like one side is smooth, I think that's the smooth side, and you can see the texture here of the paper. 
All right, so there's no new pastel layer underneath. It's just 100% oil pastel. What happens when we put this fixative on top of that? What's gonna change? So we're gonna experiment with that. And then the next one, and this one's gonna be a change. I already know, because I've done this before. This one right here, now this is a 12 by 16. This is done on pastel matte. And this is a combination of a new pastel underpainting. And I sprayed a workable fixative on top of that. And then I did a couple layers of oil pastel on top. So we have two mediums. We have the new pastel and then the oil pastel with a workable fixative in between both. What happens when I cover the whole thing with this Krylon low odor clear finish? What's gonna happen to the colors? All right, it is going to change, but how dramatic is it going to be? And is it going to ruin the painting? These are all things we're gonna find out in this video, so keep watching. Okay, so I have this one outside and you can see I have it propped up and there's my dog, Moses. Moses is a one-year-old English Mastiff. Hey, buddy. All right, so he's out here. He likes to hang out. Um, all right, so we're gonna use this low order clear finish on this piece all right and i hope i don't ruin my painting because i really like this one all right let's spray away from moses so i'm going to come over here all right and we'll test it shake it up do a little spray shake it up all right Always shake up the fixative before you go with it. All right, so here we go. This will be one coat. I'm gonna kind of move over to the side here. Got a really nice spray, I like a really cloudy mist to it. Just trying to get some even coverage. Okay. Let's wait till that dries. It's gonna be about 10 to 15 minutes on drying time. All right, so we'll wait. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and um, I'm gonna check it out here. You can see the heavy gloss on it. If I kind of do an angle, you can see that gloss, all right? All right, and let's touch it. It's um. It's still a little bit wet. I think I need to do a second coat. But you can tell that first coat was pretty heavy. Like I put a lot on there. I was going back and forth several times. So it was a heavy coat to begin with. But um, it's looking pretty good. Like I'm not seeing any damage. Um, it looks and feels pretty solid. And it's a little bit sticky, so I'm going to wait another 10 minutes and then we're going to do another coat. All right, so just checking on it. All right, so I'm here to do a second coat. We're going to check it. Yep, it's got that nice heavy gloss on it. And um, the surface is ready to go for another coat. It's dried up. All right, so let's do a second coat. You always want to shake up the fixative. And then do a little test spray. I'm going to come it from this side this time. All right, here we go.
the wind's blowing this way so I'm not I don't want to stand here because it's gonna blow right on me so I'm trying to stay away from where it's blowing let's see little droplets there Okay, that's a good healthy application. Let's go and let that dry for a good 10, 15 minutes. We'll check it back. This guy is ready for a third coat. Yeah, you can see that gloss on there. And I think this is gonna be my final coat. All right, let's go for it, let's shake it up. The wind's shifting, so I'm gonna shift my body around. See the wind, where the wind's blowing going this way so let's come over here and right here in the middle is where most of that texture is so I'm going to try to get a little bit more in that section up here in the foliage where all the leaves are. That should do it. Okay. All right. All right, let's let that dry for 20 minutes. All right, here's the next one. All right, so again, this one was done on 12 by 16 pastel mat. And it's got a new pastel underpainting, and then it's got oil pastel on the top. Okay. And uh, I just took a picture or an angle of it so you can see there's no gloss. I never put any fixative on it. Um, the painting itself is completely dry. I did this um, about a, over a year ago, I think. And so it's dry to the touch. Um, if I keep rubbing here, I will start pulling pigment off, but it is dry to the touch. And um, let's see what happens when I spray this on it. So before I start, I'm gonna tell you that it is gonna change the values of this. My suspicion here is things are gonna get darker. Colors are gonna appear darker, okay, from this. Shake it up really good. Do a little test spray, okay. All right, <clears throat> here we go. You're gonna watch these colors change. I don't know if it's gonna be that dramatic, but I, I feel like it is. coming from all sides at it. Now already, can you tell the difference? If I go up close, can you see those little droplets? All right, that's the fix that I just sprayed on there. Let's just call that our first coat. We'll come back in 10 minutes. 
Okay, this one's ready to get a second coat. All right, now I already tell that the darks are a little darker here. I can already see that here, and hopefully that you can too, looking at this video. But I wanna get an up close look, and you can see how that fixative has, Let's see if I can get a good angle, there we go. You can kinda of see the little droplets, the little uh, fixative droplets here that kinda of formed and that was just after one coating okay and it's not a dramatic shift I was expecting the blue to shift a lot more blue but that didn't happen um, but I do feel that the darks got a little darker all right so let's try a second coat let's shake it up We'll start over here this time. I just feel like the colors become so much more crisp when using this. The wind's blowing a little bit more heavy, so I'm kind of trying to get a little bit closer to the work. Otherwise, all this spray is just going to get sprayed off. It's just going to move off, so a little bit closer. You can see that gloss there on there. All right, so this is really thick application. I could probably do lighter and that might be a little bit better, but I don't know, I'm just kind of going for it here. So you can see that gloss build up there. All right. Okay, so let's let that dry for a good 10, 15 minutes. Okay, we're gonna do another coat on this one. And um, this probably be my last coat for this one as well. You can see that gloss buildup is nice. All right. Shake it up. Test it and then go with it. Put a little bit more in this section. This is where all that texture is. You can see. There we go. You can see that glossy that gets. Okay, let's let that dry. Okay, this one's next. Now remember, this one is 100% oil pastel and it's done on that black Canson textured paper. Okay, so black paper, 100% oil pastel. And actually, this is 100% Neo pastel as well. So it's one brand of oil pastel. Okay, still using this low odor clear finish. Shake it up. Wind's picking up, so I'm gonna come back on this side over here. When died down, let's go for it.
Okay, this one dried up faster than the other ones. It's already ready to go, and that was less than 10 minutes on my side. Um, and actually, I'm going to put one more coat on this, and that's going to be it. Okay, there we go. All right. Okay, let's take a look at it down here. See if I got even coverage. Looks pretty even to me. I'm not seeing any dry spots. I'm gonna hit this middle part one last time. This is where all the texture is right here. Okay, we'll let that dry. I got this one. This one's done on Canson watercolor paper. It is 100% oil pastel and it's done with Neo Pastel. So again, one brand of oil pastel done on watercolor paper and the color of the paper is white. And for this one, I'm going to switch it up. I'm not going to use the gloss. I'm going to go with the matte version because the low order clear finish comes in either gloss or matte. So this time, let's try out the matte and just see how different that is. So open the, this up. I can do this with one hand. There we go. Okay, this is the matte version. Test out the spray first. Always test out the spray first before you before you go in on it. Okay. Now the wind's picking up, so I'm gonna come back here in a sec. Okay, let's go for it. look looks pretty cl clean coverage pretty even Let's see if I can see any dry spots maybe over here on the edge okay let's let that dry all right this one's ready for a second coat this is that matte version of the low odor clear finish And I think I'm just going to do two coats with this. So this will be the last coat. Right in the middle is where that texture is. Right there, where, we, where, you, where you see the foliage. That's where it's going to be. that dry okay so I am all done fixed up I am back in the studio I got all the work here that we did the fix it on let's take a look at it up close here's that panel I remember we used the um, the low odor clear finish gloss okay and let's take a look at this now this is 100% um, protected here I mean like I'm rubbing it and yeah, nothing's coming up. Even up here in the foliage where it's mostly Sennelier, it's all covered. Nice. And it's got that gloss clear finish on it. I don't know, and to me, I feel that the uh, contrast, the darks have gotten juicier. They're a little bit darker. It just feels fresh. The whole painting feels fresh. 
So I'm liking this stuff a lot. And um, at least on this panel, it's worked out really well. So, okay, now let's take out, uh, let's take a look at this one. Now this is done on black um, Canson paper. And it's a thin paper, and as you can see, the paper is, is buckling from the fixative. So that's why I don't really use this stuff. This is a plain air piece that I did um, a few months ago. Um, and again, it's got that gloss finish on it. So that it worked well. I mean, this is completely protected. I'm handling it like it. And um, yeah, nothing's coming up on my fingers. So totally protected. The only thing I don't like about it is the paper is just buckled. And it's all lumpy. And uh, just not fun to try to frame that. You know, if I want to frame this, it's going to be, that's going to be an issue. So that's why I don't use this paper very much. <laughs> In fact, none at all. The only reason why I got it is because it's black. That's it. That's it. Um, other than that, I wouldn't have gotten it. I just wanted to see what it was like to use oil pastel on black paper. And um, I liked it, um, but I'm not going to keep using it. So anywhere, there's that. And it's got that gloss on it. You can see how that shines. But again, I think the darks look... Um, look better in my opinion the colors seem to pop more all right let's take a look at this one now this is on pastel mat and pastel mat is just the best paper in my opinion it is so durable it feels like a cardboard like a light cardboard um, and we did three coats I think I think three heavy applications of that of the gloss and um, yeah, I mean, I could just eat off this, honestly. It is totally protected. Even here in the grass, where it's all Snell's, Snellier's and um, Neo Pastel's, where I was cutting in with sticks, that's completely covered. Um, and it didn't really change the values of the colors. I don't think it shifted the blue. I think um, the colors just got crisp. And definitely the darks enhanced the darks. Looks great. Now this would be great to now frame. I don't have to frame this behind glass. I could just frame this just like this and it's totally protected. All right? And it's smooth. It's not really sticky. So I did three heavy applications and you saw that in the video. Three heavy going back and forth several times. All right? This is pastel matte and this is honestly the best durable paper. It's not buckling. It's laying relatively flat, easy to frame, durable. I mean, this is going to last forever. That's why I like it. That's why it's expensive. It's good quality, good quality paper. All right, and then this last one. So this is a plain air, and this is on that um, Canson watercolor paper, the white. It's 140 pound paper. It's watercolor paper, and I did the matte. I did the matte version this time of the low odor clear finish. So. If you look at it, there's still a shine to it, but not that heavy glossness about it. So that might be a better option sometimes. Some people like the gloss and some people don't. And I, I don't know. Either one is fine with me. I actually kind of prefer the gloss, I think, a little, a little more. That's just my preference. But the matte looks great. And this is on um, watercolor paper. And the paper is pretty... Stable, it's not buckling, um, very durable. You can see I'm touching everything and not getting any color up on my on my hands because it's completely covered, protected. So again, a bulletproof item and should last forever. Right? So there you have it. So a slow odor clear finish. Um, I tried it on panel. We tried it on Canson and then watercolor paper, Canson watercolor paper, and then also pastel matte. All right. And this one on pastel matte has a new pastel underpainting underneath this. There's new pastel and then a workable fixative and then oil pastel. And now the low odor clear finish. And you can see it completely works.
it didn't damage the painting it didn't shift any of the colors really it just kind of enhanced the dark so and then on panel it works great and it's that high gloss and I could have tried the matte on this one but I like I like the gloss I think it works out well so there you go I, I recommend this product um, to use I'll keep using it um, I still prefer this is my number one still just because of the consistency of it um, and I just trust it more <clears throat> but this did work out and I tested on all these surfaces and worked out well and what you never want to do like I showed in the beginning of the video is you never want to combine these two and that's how I damaged that one painting down there is uh, something happened here and um, maybe I didn't have enough fixative or maybe I just shouldn't even use this with oil pastel I want to try it again but this time maybe next time I will try a workable fixative first create that coverage and probably put a lot more layers into it and then try this varnish over the top and just see what happens but you know honestly if this works just like it is here I don't know why I would use this to begin with so anyway it's fun to experiment and try new things and learn stuff and I hope you guys learned a little bit more about fixative and how to use and and knowing that it's going to be safe you can see what it did to all my paintings here and everything turned out fine so hopefully that will help you and um, thanks for watching